In this video, I'm going to show the details page as well as the team and documents pages on the new Rise software. So once I've logged in and I'm in the IEP tab, I'm going to select the correct student. In this, for this video, I'm going to be working on Ron. I'm going to select the IEP number. And then I'm just going to minimize these sidebars using the chevrons over here. And click make sure I'm on the details page. First thing you're going to notice is, the, is that these top four boxes are not able to be changed. Those, that's because these are automatically generated centrally or through the software. So you don't need to worry about changing those. You just want to make sure that it is the correct information. The next box down is the reason for development. And you can see that it's already filled because when you create or a new IEP or you're promoting an IEP, that information will be carried forward. So you don't need to worry about that. But if you did want to change it, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to leave it on student identified as exceptional by IPRC. Next line down is the report card format. And because the student is in grade two, I'm going to leave it on provincial report card. Provincial assessment year, that's a no because he is in grade two. Accommodated subjects. This is a new feature in RISE. And when you, I click on the drop down box, you'll see all subjects accommodated or all other subjects accommodated. If I was to click on all subjects accommodated and hit save, that will mean that every subject that has been pulled over through PowerSchool and is in his subjects page will be switched to accommodated. But I know that for this student, I am going to be modifying some subjects as well as entering in some alternative programs. So I'm going to select all other subjects accommodated and hit save. The IEP completion date is next. And then we have information sources. So this is where we're collecting our information for devel the development of the IEP. Ron had an IEP last year, so I'm going to use the latest IP IEP. I know he has been in an IPRC, so I'm going to collect, select uh, IPRC information. He's had some professional assessments, so I'm going to click on that. And it was also, it's also important to make sure that parent slash guardian or student if 16 plus is selected as well. So I'm going to hit save. That's going to bring that over. Now, one other thing I want to mention before I go into the next page is if I was to try to move to a different tab right now, let's say I wanted to go over to documents, it's going to prompt me to save because I have not hit the save button. This is one of the pages where you do need to hit the save button before you move on, but it's nice because it does prompt you before doing so. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to hit save. Change is saved. So I now know that I can move on to a different tab. No problem. Everything's still there. The last, the last box on the details page is other sources. I'm going to click on other sources. And if I wanted to, this is an open text box. So instead of just having the, the check box items in the sources consulted, this is more of an open text box. So I'm going to create a speech and language report to add. So I've typed, it, typed in the report here in this box. Now I'm going to hit the plus sign. That will move it up into my box. If I made a spelling error or need to change something or I want to get rid of it, I can hit the trash can button here. But it looks all good. So I'm going to hit save and save again. And now we're good to go. The next page is the team page. And as you can see, I've been uh, I'm lucky enough to be the principal for this uh, test environment. So. Um, I'm the principal and the resource teacher. And you just want to make sure in this page that all of these team members are accurate. Um, so when, when the software does go live, it's important for resource teachers to just make sure that this information, this information is uh, up to date and correct. Um, you, can, you can add different team members. Certain roles can add team members, mainly principals. Um, if you need to add a teacher or resource teacher, you can, the principals may be able to do that. However, there shouldn't be a need to do this because it should be 
pulled through PowerSchool. Um, so again, just making, just making sure that the team members are up to date and accurate in the team page. The next page is the documents page. And this will have, this will store the IEPs, the historical IEPs for the year. So if, if I have an IEP that uh, I've already changed from um, editable and pending to complete because the, my principal has already made revisions and signed it, then that copy of the IEP will be stored here for the year. Uh, the, at the end of the year, these, these documents will be removed and no longer available. So these are just like the different working copies of the IEP. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching.